Hello everyone, my name is Ajaj Patel and I am from webhub.blogspot.com. Welcome to the part 28 of e-commerce website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, in last tutorial, we successfully uh, fetch all the related products of particular products. So in this tutorial, we display all the categories here dynamically. So I am coming to index uh, homepage of this website. So when I someone hover uh, here, so it's display all the categories displaying here. So how can we do that? We simply uh, going to our function.php and here we create one separate function like function and give the proper name like uh, all cat which means all category. Okay. So now here uh, we need to first of all add a database connection so include say inc slash db dot php okay so now here we simply need to create a one query like uh, um, give the name like all cat equal to dollar con then prepare statement And here double quotes then say select all from main get just because our table name is main get just look at here okay look at here main get so that's it now we need to uh, provide a fetching method so all cat slash set page mode what's the mode is pdo page underscore sock okay so now dollar all cat we need to execute that execute okay now we need to Create a one loop here just because we need all the categories names display there. So we simply create a dollar row variable. You can create any variable for but for example purpose I use a easy variable like dollar row. So we need to put that variable inside that very uh, this variable just because this variable holds our query. So here and then page okay then and while inside the uh, this while loop we need to create a li echo sorry we need to echo double quotes then we need to create here li li close inside li we need a href equal to for example purpose now i'm using dummy link okay so now here double quotes dot dot then uh, we say dollar low and then we need to display here categories name all the categories name so going to database and check what's the okay look at here cat name or field name is cat name so here we use a cat name okay yeah that's it now okay look at this here we also mistake here main cat say call from him okay all are ready to run now we need to copy this function and going to newbar.php just because this is newbar.php file so here after this categories okay first of all i'm put this one from here this one from here and after here I create one ul okay inside that ul we are going to echo our that function okay but we need to write a php script here first php php close and simply code that function here okay 
let's take a refresh and check what happened okay just look at here just look at here all the information is coming but is not proper way we need to display all the information here by uh, someone over on here so going to style sheet now okay here is our new bar so I simply write a three line code new bar then li have some ul then it's display none okay now let's take a refresh and check what happened here display none new bar li ul display none and it's important Okay, let's check on Opera. Refresh it. Okay, look at this now. Now our new bar is hidden. When I remove this one from here and refresh it again in our Opera. Okay, look at this now. Now it's coming in Opera. So now when I control Z it again and display none and refresh it again. Okay, look at this now. It's hidden now. Now, write one query, oh sorry, write one style here, like when someone hover on our li, then our ul display block, which means it's display, refresh, okay, not work from here, I'm going to Opera. okay display block and it's also important okay look at this now now look at this all the information is coming but we need to first of all remove the float of left so we are going to style sheet and here we say new bar li okay then ul li float none okay now i'm going to refresh it again okay refresh it okay look at this now now it's coming here okay so now we need to uh, set the height and weight of our ul so it's uh, Width will be around 120 pixel, not a 120 pixel, 200 pixel. Okay, so when I'm going to refresh, okay, just close it, press Ctrl H, clear the browsing history, clear. When I again coming to localhost. Uh, and online store okay just look at this now now just look at here so now we need to here provide the Z index property and it's triple nine okay so now it's coming on front and also we need to position absolute okay again refresh it from here okay look at this now now it's coming perfectly so now we need to change the background of our UL so we need to change the background and say 40040 okay now refresh it again okay look at this now now it's coming perfectly but we need some space between this UL and this UL 
So how can you do that? You simply come in here and say margin from top uh, something like that, uh, 10 pixel. Okay. So refresh it again. Okay. Look at this now. 10 pixel margin is coming. But we need this. Uh, we need to decrease that 10 pixel to I think uh, 8 pixel is perfect. Okay. Look at this now. Now I think it's very beautiful coming. So now we also need a mar uh, margin from left 0 pixel. So here we have say margin from left 0 pixel. Let's refresh and check again. Okay, nothing is work. So I say minus 20 pixel. Refresh it again. Okay, look at this now. But not a minus 20 pixel. We need here minus 10 pixel. Refresh it again. Okay, look at this now. Now, first of all, we need to fix the, uh, this problem. We don't need here uh, uh, this category start from here. We need some space between the left side. So we are coming here and we add a padding from only left side to person. Okay. So now let's take a refresh. Okay. Now I think it's looking perfectly and very nice. And we need to put that padding also here and say 0% padding here oh oops I make a mistake okay look at this now now just look at this just look at this now we need to uh, increase some line uh, height of our uh, these allies so I'm coming here and create a height h e i g h t then we say a height like a 35 pixel yeah 35 pixel refresh it again okay look at this now 35 pixel height is coming and it's looking very beautiful and we also make a box shadow of our ul so say 5 pixel 5 pixel 5 pixel and then say um, 2e 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 okay let's refresh and check again okay look at this now uh, shadow is coming also so now we need to uh, make some uh, space between this top side of our ally so how can you do that we simply coming here and sell line height property h e i g h t and say 35 pixel yeah 35 pixel just because our height is 35 pixel when I coming on uh, when I click on refresh it again here okay look at this now now we need some spa uh, some padding between uh, this left side and our text so how can I do that we simply use a padding from left side to person okay so now when I going to refresh okay look at this now I think uh, not a two person it's for uh, something like uh, five person okay five person let's check again okay look at this now i think now it's coming very beautiful okay guys so um, coming back here ally okay look at this now this href but this uh, a tag only apply on on the text we need to apply on the whole ally so how can you do that we simply coming on CSS here and copy this one from here by control C paste it from here and say A and also say display block okay when I going to refresh it again okay look at this now the ally is applied on all the they uh, a is apply on all, all the ally so i think guys uh, this is enough for today in next tutorial uh, tutorial we will create a one page for when someone click on electronics they display all the products related of electronics so guys 
If you guys are like my video then like and share my video if you have any question in your mind then comment below and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel so guys stay connected with me stay tuned thanks for watching goodbye